almost all of these reflections start with, I don't know where to start. <laughs> and Spain and France and Belgium and Luxembourg and Germany and Austria and Poland and Slovakia and Hungary. This past spring, I went to Africa for the first time and we got there so late at night. And there were like 15 of us shoved in this van and I'm the only one who doesn't speak the language and I was overwhelmed. And I am looking out at the streets and saw myself judging people without even knowing them or knowing their culture. Like I just got there and I didn't give them a chance or, or meet them where they were culturally. And I remember writing down, like trying to shove out my judgments um, because it wasn't helpful and it wasn't the reason I was there. Seven days later, I was in the same van on the way back and my perspective on that culture, on the people, on what I was feeling as I was leaving was extremely different from before. I was almost in tears having to leave the people that I had met and they invited me into their culture. Um, as an outsider who clearly looks different and speaks a different language, they still invited me in. I went to Indonesia last year and I remember just feeling inadequate and like I didn't speak the language and clearly I look different. Then I was talking to a university student and I identified with every single struggle that that university student said and I just knew that even culturally, even though we are from different places and even though we have different backgrounds and stories and family life and even though literally we are 10,000 miles away, we still are human and we still have this connection and desire to like want to be community. A lot of my tri my trips and my travels end up with this moment of, duh, Rachel, like people are human too and um, just wanting to love people well. Um, and sometimes that means stepping into a culture that makes me uncomfortable and stretches me to do things like eat crickets or, <laughs> or um, order things and not know what I'm really saying. All of those experiences are really awesome and push me out of my comfort zone, um, but also allow me to commune with the people there better. That's how they live their life, and um, if I want to really be a, a traveler, um, I need to be able to be willing to be a part of the life that they live. Um, I travel not for like vacation purposes. You know, I travel to learn about other people and learn about myself and hopefully gain some sort of insight and knowledge. Um, and in order to do that, you have to sometimes get uncomfortable um, and be willing to do what they do, even if it's different, it doesn't make it lesser.